All right, let's get into another garbage pre-workout supplement. This one's also disappointing. It has Jocko Willink's branding on it. And I like Jocko. I've read his books. I think he's one of the best public speakers I've ever seen. His TED Talk is amazing. I like the way he carries himself. But he's at the end of the day, he's a man, and he's susceptible to greed just like every other man. And unfortunately, this shows that he is greedy in this respect because putting your name on this bullshit product, obviously he didn't design it. He's not an expert on supplements. He's not an expert just because you use supplements doesn't mean you know how to design an effective one. But the, whoever, the, whoever this company is, they're using his branding and he's getting compensated for that. He has, I doubt he has much to do, if anything, with the actual product design. And that's a good thing because this product is garbage. Let's watch this commercial first and then I'll go into the ingredients. Proprietary blends, you don't know what you get. Other pre-workouts, they have stuff that I don't need, you know, extra fluffer. You don't need anything that a pre-workout drink has. Let's start there, nothing. If you stop taking your pre-workout now, you would notice probably no drop in performance. It's just an illusion. In fact, your performance would probably fucking go up because all that caffeine and stimulants and garbage ingredients are only having a deleterious effect. What it really is. Okay, you got actual all the ingredients labeled, which is what you want to see in a pre-workout. Looks like y'all don't have a proprietary blend. Y'all give me straight Nobody does proprietary blends anymore. Everyone lists their ingredients for the reasons that everyone knows. It feels like a scam if you do a proprietary blend. Everything that I put in mine is here. The caffeine right there, l citrulline, beta-alanine, vitamin C. Oh, I'm sure that's what you put in yours. What the fuck? B12, how many carbohydrates, how much magnesium. That's what I truly want. That. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm looking for in a pre-workout. I want to see how much B12 and magnesium's in it. Those are things I get every fucking day. Why do I give a fuck if a pre-workout has it? It's all sugar-free. It's what I need. None of that BS. Problem. Yeah, it's sugar-free. It's probably loaded with sucralose, which is even worse. Get that little pump going. That's all I look for. That's good. That's great shit. More flavor. All right, fuck this shit. Let's take a look at what's in it. Jocko pre-workout. All right, so here. All right, here we go. Okay, total carbohydrates, two. And that is because, what is it sweetened with? Oh, it's actually sweetened with monk fruit extract. So that's one thumb up. It's using monk fruit extract. So that's good. Vitamin C, 90 milligrams, completely unnecessary. It's a low dosage, no benefits, no reason to put it in there. B6, two milligrams, no reason to be in there. B12, first of all, if you're gonna put B12 in, put methyl B12, not this low quality B12 in it. Magnesium citrate, 15 milligrams. Why even bother? 15 milligrams? You need 500 milligrams to a gram to actually get any real benefit. <sighs> Citrulline, six grams. That's a good dosage, so that, that's good. Beta alanine, 3.2 grams. That's good too, but it, like I said about beta alanine, it has a very short half-life, so you have to take it multiple times a day and you have to take it every day. It's not just something you can take before you fucking work out and notice a difference. You're not gonna notice a fucking difference taking beta alanine infrequently. It has to build up in your system to actually have merit. And even then it's questionable. And acetyl carnitine, 500 milligrams, that's good. Most likely you need a gram or to two grams though. So 500 milligrams is not enough. Beta teen, 2.5 grams, that's a decent amount. Although there's no real reason why to have it in the fucking product. And then here we go, caffeine. This is why people actually feel something, 200 milligrams. Theobromine found in dark chocolate. This is also a stimulant like caffeine, 50 milligrams. And then this methyl, this is basically a mild amphetamine, this methylliberine, I can't pronounce it properly. So this is, these are the three ingredients, right? Whatever you feel from this is from these three ingredients. The rest of this stuff, you're not feeling. And then the citrulline at six grams is good. So I shouldn't say this is a garbage supplement, although it's pretty fucking close because it has a lot of unnecessary shit. You could just get this product down to six grams of citrulline and skip all the caffeine and all that bullshit. If you want stimulants, just take that yourself. So six grams of citrulline, and if you take the acetylcarnitine up to a gram, that would be good. And that's about it. Everything else is unnecessary and it's not additive. And in terms of people that just want stimulants, you could take these stim you could take the stimulant parts of this product separately and it would be ridiculously inexpensive. So nope, two thumbs down, Jocko Fuel, two thumbs fucking down.